everybody. It's another Friday morning and time for your weekend gardening tips. We have had some rain, thank goodness. Not a lot, but some. And also the temperatures have really moderated from those really high uh, 90s and, and heat indexes close to 100 that we've been experiencing. That makes it perfect weather for planting. So if your garden needs a little pick-me-up, some of your, maybe your summer perennial or your spring perennials are done and you want to throw in something that's going to give you a little summer color, maybe you want to plant some annuals or some trees and shrubs, we have perfect planting weather this weekend. And to celebrate that, we have some things on sale in the garden center. Um, some hanging baskets, uh, four-inch annuals and annual flats are on sale, and also all of our Colorado spruce and burlapped ornamental trees are 20% off. So perfect time to save a little cash and also to get your yard spruced up. On that note, we were talking about the watering. It is still just the end of June and I'm sure we're gonna have some more really dry weather ahead. So just keep on top of watering things in anything that's newly planted and certainly anything that's in a container. It's also a really good time if you've got plants in containers, uh, especially annuals, that you give them a little dose of fertilizer. They're fertilized when they are growing uh, at the grower, they're on a regular schedule, but now you've had them, and if you haven't been putting down some kind of fertilizer, you could do something water soluble like uh, miracle Grow or something slow release like Osmocote, we even have some organic uh, granular formulations from Espoma. You could use any of those and that will keep your annuals um, healthy and bushy and keep on flowering. And finally, I just want to say a couple of words about fungus. Fungus is among us. At the plant desk, we've been seeing lots of calls and questions and emails about what is this growing on my nine bark? What is this weird thing on my peach tree? And a lot of those issues have been fungal. So now is the time to sort of get going with that and give it a treatment with a fungicide. You can use something like Revitalize, that's my favorite, it's a biologic, or you could use Something like Infuse. Infuse is good for lawns as well as ornamentals. Re Revitalize is better if you've got vegetables or fruit bearing plants. I will say though that if you've got other fungicides that you have held over from years before, like any of the ones I mentioned, or daconil or copper or something like that, if you've stored it outside, you really want to get rid of it and replace it. Those um, high heat temperatures in your garage followed by the super freezing temperatures in the winter make all of the chemicals or treatments that you've had in your garage, especially liquid stuff, much less effective than they would be. So take those to the, um, to the sites where you can recycle the containers and dump the, the treatments and get yourself some new stuff. We'd be happy to help you figure out what you need, bring in some samples or some photos. We can ID your problem and help you choose the best and most effective treatment. So you all have a great weekend and happy gardening from all of us here at the Bruce Company.